Welcome back to the continuation of the story of Sayyida Khadija. Now, she was positive in speech, but that was not it. Immediately, she took him to her cousin, Waraq ibn Nawfal. Why is that? She knew that that's the best person to give the support needed at that moment. Moment of fear, moment of disbelief, and what she wanted and expected absolutely happened. Because immediately, Waraq ibn Nawfal said to him, what you are telling me and who came to you is the same one who came to Sayyidina Musa. Waraq ibn Nawfal was not a Muslim, but he read the books. And then he said to him, he was an older man, he said to Rasul and this is so powerful, if I will live to the day that your people will make you leave, I'll support you. And the Rasul with all his noble characters, will they let me out? Will they push me out? And he said, no one brought to his nation what you are bringing, but they will let him leave. Not let him actually, they will push him to leave. She took him back. And now look at the second reason why she is a special woman in dunya, in this life the special woman in Akhira. She was the first person, not the first woman, the first person, the first human accepted Islam. What an honor. But every honor comes with responsibility. What did she sacrifice? Belief to be a builder, to be someone different. You have to believe in what you have. Number two, you have to be very hard worker. And number three, you have to sacrifice. Things doesn't come easy. This is a noble woman, a rich woman. And then what happened to her? Went through famine. She had to migrate. She had to give up a lot of things for only one reason, to support her husband. And not only her husband, but even the whole family. This is a woman who delivered six children. She lost two of them, the two boys. So the life was not smooth. She went through a lot of tests. She lost her children. But still the four girls, she had them. Support, belief, hardworking, and resilient. You don't give up. You keep going to build a nation. Believing faith is something we all struggle with these days. But if we just look at what this brings to our homes, and look at what brought to her house. A lot of challenges, of course, a lot of difficulties, but what blessings and legacy that left and lived for thousands of years after her. One of the unique things she did in her house, this is before salah became obligation. She used to pray with the Rasul two rakat every morning. She was greeted, as we said, by salam, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She became the mother of one of the best women in Jannah. She was one, but her daughter also was one, Sayyida Fatima. She was the grandmother of the two masters of all the martyrs in Jannah, Sayyidina Al-Hassan and Sayyidina al Hussein. She died in Ramadan, the 10th day of Ramadan. She died in his hands, alayhi salatu wassalam. And she actually died as a result of the famine she went through and the difficulties she went through just because she's a believer. He actually laid her down in, his, in her grave, he alayhi salatu wassalam, by himself. And he personally supervised the preparation of her grave. Alayhi salatu wassalam wa alayhi salam. Uniqueness after she died is the non-ending feelings and love he had, alayhi salatu wasalam, for her, for years after she died. Whenever she is mentioned, his face changes. Her sister one day came in, and this is reported by Sayyida Aisha. Her sister came, knocked on the door, and Sayyida Aisha said, he said, let her be hala. So he was hoping that the person who's going to come and enter the house, this is years after, this is in Medina. 
that it is Hannah, her sister. And when she entered, his eyes filled with tears. This is love. His love to her was legendary to the point that Sayyida Aisha used to say, I have never had jealousy to a woman I have not seen, but it's Sayyida Khadija. And one day she said to him, why you keep remembering her? Why you keep anything is given to him as a gift? He made sure that some of it goes to her family or to her friends. And then he said to her, to Sayyida Aisha, who's another beloved woman to him, and he said, don't hurt me by saying anything about Khadija. What a love is this? What a woman she is. What do we have, each one of us, and I'm sure we do, something from Sayyida Khadija, that if we look deep inside us, we will find it, use it for the sake of Allah, and then he will put barakah or blessing in it, and then make us, Ya Rabbi Ameen, a builder of a nation. Oh.